What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. So today I have a cool gadget. It is a gaming chair that I wanted to bring to you because it's absolutely fantastic. I do love it. Uh, I have brought you a gaming chair in the past, um, which was a good chair, but I just wanted to upgrade a little bit because it was just a little bit small for me. So I wanted to upgrade to something a little bit bigger. This thing has definitely upgraded uh, in my opinion and is far uh, exceeding in the comfort uh, level of the chairs so i wanted to bring you this von racer gaming chair guys it is really fantastic it's a good price point at around 140 150 dollars uh, depending on where you buy it uh, it's actually actually a really good chair it has pretty good sound quality as well um, and we're going to get into it, guys. So I just want to really quick just thank everybody for tuning in today to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you guys like review videos, please tune into my channel, guys. I just try to give you an honest, down-to-earth, simple, uh, quick and easy a review on different items, guys. If you like those types of videos, uh, just to get a little extra information from a basic consumer point of view, check out my channel, guys. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, all the subscribers that I do have, they're all super awesome. They're positive feedback, good questions, and, you know, always fun to have great subscribers like that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, I'm a basic guy that just likes to help guys, likes to put things out there about items, bring them to you, no matter if they're positive or negative. Uh, I like to bring them to you and just let you know what I think of some items out there. So thank you guys for tuning in and let's get into this Vaughn racing chair so like I said it is a gaming chair I do a uh, game a little bit now with my son more than I used to so I need a good chair to sit down uh, we're all getting a little bit older these days and uh, I need a good chair to sit down and hang out with him uh, it's fantastic uh, uh, fun time with him so uh, I picked up this gaming chair and you know it's been really really great I love that it is has some great features that I really really like so we're gonna get into the chair I'm gonna get different camera angles so I can get you closer to this chair and show you how nice it is guys uh, it is really nice for the value at like I said 150 you know bucks around there depending on where you get it great great value so let's get into it and let's change views and I will show you the chair guys all right, guys, let's show you this chair here. The fabric is absolutely fantastic. It, I don't think it's quite leather, but it is a nice like faux leather. Uh, very, very comfortable. The seat, extra padded. You can see how I can push into there and it's very, very uh, padded and cushiony. The only thing I do not like is maybe this little gap in the back because I do have some back problems. And so, uh, you know, having your back hunched over a little bit like that not comfortable but like i said uh the chair is still pretty comfortable if i were to sit in in this chair for long periods of time yes i might have some issues but i don't sit in it that long so now it does have uh, nice little accents here uh, this is plastic but you know everything looks really good uh, the arms are adjustable you notice i'm swiveling the chair which i think is absolutely fantastic that i can swivel this chair all the way around um, it does have uh, the handles that come up so you can get those out of your way if you do not like them uh, it has the speakers in the headrest up here on the sides now I do like when they have the speakers up on the front like behind you but on the sides we'll still get a chance to take a quick look look at that and I still think they work very very good um, on the back side they have this little piece of velcro here I'll show you what that is in a second and then they have your subwoofer on the bottom here with a port I'll show you that here's your bottom uh, metal you know very nicely constructed chair does have a little assembly that you need to do but it wasn't too hard this is all part of the chair so you can't take this off but it is very very like i said plush feels great so are the sides plush uh, like i said nice material you do have that head plush uh, piece in the back as well now i'm a pretty tall guy i'm about six foot and I still feel very comfortable in this chair. Uh, I wish it was maybe an inch taller, but you know, I, that would be being picky uh, for my comfort level, but it, absolutely acceptable for a, a tall person if you're around six foot tall. 
all right so here is the bottom piece that I'll show you this is where you have all your connections you do have your AC plug here this is going to be your volume there and this is going to be for your base I believe let's see if I can get in there so volume and sorry the base I got those reversed so this is for your base this is for your volume and you can turn that those up uh, separately which is nice and then you do have your switch here now it's a three-way switch you got your off there the middle is going to be on and if you're using a 3.5 millimeter jack that's when you will use that and if you go all the way over that is your Bluetooth and I believe it might turn blue we'll go ahead and plug it in check it out real quick so yes you see that the light is green that's off green and then that is in blue is for your Bluetooth so you can see it's trying to pick up Bluetooth right there so very very cool there and like I said it's a very very nice chair I really just like the way it looks uh, I think it looks professional it feels professional I'll sit in it and kind of show you what I look like in it in a minute here and I also give you a sound test on how everything works here uh, but I think we'll switch back to the angles here, but I think the chair looks fantastic uh, And you know, it sounds good as well. So let's so. show you this chair here. There's a little bit of movement there You can see uh, when you're sitting in it full uh, 360 you can spin in it and you know all that good stuff handles come up here and I will sit in the chair show you how I look in the chair like I said, I'm six foot tall and You know, it is just for me an absolutely very very comfortable chair like i said i wish there was a little bit more support on the back but i do have a fix for that uh you can buy you know one of these little back pillows in here that will go around the chair or you can just leave it as it is and just put it back there and so i'll put that in there and then that gives me the extra support i need in my back and then this chair is absolutely fantastic now the chair does come with this little head rest pillow and that's what the little piece of velcro is on the back but i tend to find myself not using this at all because one it falls off a lot and two it's just a little bit weird so it will hang on the back like this see it hanging out there uh, i wish they actually had another piece of velcro that would velcro it to the top here and then that way that would give you that head support that you need and then you can push this in and then you can put your head back a little bit but really i don't see you using that too much when you're gaming because uh, you're usually going to be sitting like this anyways guys so but i do like that the arms come up guys that is nice so then you can be free you can kind of sit weird or however you want to sit I normally find myself sitting at a normal level like this and like I said you can game for a couple hours easily in this chair um, it doesn't get hot those types of things have no issues at least for me in my opinion all those things work awesome uh, I do love the handles I will use the armrest like I said see how the pillow just flop back there uh, so I don't end up using that using that on the on the uh, chair that much that also could work as a little back pillow for you as well that way you don't have to pick anything extra up but you know i picked up this other one i'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking that out but uh, it's a nice very very soft uh, back pillow here as well goes the full size of the chair and fits the chair pretty well so i do like that uh, you can't take this off but like i said you could also you know use this as a back pillow as well and you know it definitely has some support to it so it could definitely be a little back pillow for you as well so uh, easy easy to go there because it will work as well other than that guys all you're gonna get is a power supply and I believe you do get a 3.5 millimeter jack cable uh, I'm using different stuff because um, the cables they supply aren't you know the top they work but they're not top quality I use a little bit something different but I will show you a quick sound test on this chair here guys plug that in turn it on get you guys a little quick sound test here that way you can kind of get an idea it's not going to be fantastic but at least you kind of kind of hear what it can do
All right, guys, that's a quick sound test for you. Nothing crazy, uh, but it does sound pretty good, actually, guys. I do like the way it sounds. Um, I do like when, uh, like, the Rocket uh, chairs that they have, they have the speakers, like, in the headrest right behind you. I do like that. Uh, but, you know, these on the side, they don't really bother me. Uh, just don't have that really intense sound behind your head. But it does have very good bass, guys. You can feel it in the chair, of course. The subwoofer is in the chair, so you can feel the bass. Uh, the bass does not distort. I have this chair full-blown right now, so it's not like the loudest chair, but it's louder than you would listen to it if you were, you know, doing normal things. Uh, so you absolutely don't need it so loud that it's hurting your ears when you're sitting in the chair uh, so it's absolutely acceptable for volume um, you can turn it all the way up you're not gonna have any issues uh, you, you heard it right now guys there's not a lot of distortions I did turn the bass all the way up at one point turned it all the way down uh, kind of messed with the volumes there for you a little bit so absolutely acceptable on sound guys um, when I compare the sound from this chair to like a rocket uh, type chair that I've had in the past uh, that I've reviewed uh, I would say they're very very comparable but I would say that I do prefer when the when you can put the speakers in the headrest it just gives it a little bit more clarity because you know the speakers are right behind you and also it adds the volume because uh, the speakers are right next to your ears so really uh, it adds a little bit more volume as well the chair sounds louder but it's probably not louder because it's just that those speakers are right behind you so uh, speaker positioning is always very important when you're talking about anything and you know having those speakers right behind you definitely add some volume level to that but like I said in this chair absolutely acceptable but from those other type rocker chairs um, this one is so much more comfortable uh, definitely I don't you know I prefer being sitting up even though I'm pretty low to the ground I'm definitely sitting higher than one of those rocker type chairs and I'll show you what those rocker chairs type look like uh, just as an example so you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, very, very vo more comfortable in this chair. It just feels more like an office chair uh, or even like a recliner type chair. It does kind of put you laid back a little bit, like I said, but it's still very, very comfortable when you're thinking about gaming. So um, very positive on this, guys. I do like this chair. Very awesome price point because, you know, some of those rocking type chairs are also uh, $149. So this is definitely a, a deal if you're looking for a chair like this. It does have a top weight of uh, 270 pounds. So you know you can put some weight in this chair. You don't have to worry about it breaking or anything like that. Like I said, full spin all the way around. Bluetooth, 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, separate bass and volume controllers. Uh, comes with the you know 3.5 millimeter jack and the AC cord to plug it in. Uh, like I said, adjustable hand. Very, very comfortable. Like I said, it's not quite leather, but it does kind of feel leather-like. Um, so it's very, very comfortable. And like I said, if you need a little extra back support, I'll put the, they do include a pillow for your head or for, I, you definitely could use this for back support as well. Like I said, I'll leave a link for this other relaxed support that I have uh, in, that works pretty good with this chair. Um, let me just show you that other chair real quick. In my last segment and I'll let you guys go finishing this video up on the Vaughn racing uh, gaming chair guys I think this is an absolutely fantastic chair at a great price point at hundred and fifty dollars maybe a little bit more depending on where you're getting it but is an, uh, it's a good value it's a good chair I think it's really comfortable I think it's made uh, decently uh, I love the sound system that it has in it uh, probably not the best one that I've ever heard but it's definitely very very acceptable has great bass tones doesn't distort you know the bass or rattle at high volumes which is good and you know very very acceptable guys uh, the only thing I have a few gripes with this chair is the you know the pillow that goes on the top uh, I think they should have just made that more of a back pillow for you uh, I think that works better as a back pillow because I don't th maybe they should just made the chair a little bit taller uh, then you know trying to add that pillow for the top just use that as a back pillow in my opinion or get yourself another one if, if you guys have back issues and want a little bit more support in the back go pick up another back pillow but uh, definitely cool that they have that extra pillow as an item that was very very nice of them uh, I love that the chair is super padded guys this, this padding is very plush very awesome it has a great feel I love the arms come up I love the trimming and everything on this 
Love Bluetooth and 3.5 millimeter jack. Very easy to use volume, bass control, uh, pretty simple. So everything's there. Uh, the bass is very strong. The chair has been very sturdy. It does hold up to 270 pounds. So it, I mean, it has a lot of things going for it, guys, at, at a great value. So very, very good chair, the Vaughn Racing chair, guys. I would definitely give it a thumbs up and approve of it. You guys should check it out for sure. I will leave links in the description for both of these chairs. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I was talking about earlier. The X Rocker, I call them the Rocker chair. The, the X Rocker. Uh, this is an Ace Bayou uh, edition. I let my son use this a lot more because he's smaller. Um, but I did buy it for me at first because, uh, you know, kids can sit on the floor. They don't care where they sit. Uh, but, you know, I cannot sit on the floor and be comfortable for a while. So I bought this for myself, but it just was a little bit small. And, you know, for a big six foot tall person that, you know, I just wasn't super comfortable for long periods of time. Now it does work for, you know, 45 minutes, an hour, but after that, then you start, you know, feeling it. So, uh, I kind of show you what I mean when I'm sitting in this chair, you notice that, uh, they probably want you to sit more up, like right up here, but then it, you just feel like there's no support for you anywhere on your shoulder level, your neck level anywhere. And so you just feel kind of sloppy up here. So, you know, like I said, 45 minutes, an hour, you feel comfortable on this chair, but then after that, you kind of, kind of just lax a little bit. You can also see that kind of pushed in, uh, my natural sitting to be sitting positions to be, you know, more like this a little bit up. So if you put a little back pillow behind your back, back here. Uh, you'd have a little bit more back support and you probably feel a little bit more comfortable playing but like I said it kind of squishes you in like this and you know doing that for a long periods of time probably isn't good for you. I, I tended to find myself sliding down more into the chair so I could put my shoulders into it a little bit more and then I felt a little bit more comfortable but then that squishes you down even more. It kind of compresses you all in and even though that was a little bit more comfortable it's probably not good for you in the long run so you know, I just figured I needed something a little bit bigger, a little bit more comfortable for myself. And that's why I picked up the Vaughn racing chair. But I just wanted to uh, let you guys know, give you a comparison between the two chairs. If you're looking for an X rocker, I do like these chairs, especially I love that the speakers are right behind you. Uh, they do the same thing for sure. They definitely have Bluetooth and a 3.5 millimeter jack, all that stuff, different uh, bass and volume controls. But the speakers in this chair are right literally by your head. So that is fantastic, uh, especially when you're watching movies or uh, listening to uh, music or whatever. Uh, you got the bass in the chair with the subwoofer and then you have the speakers right behind you, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So really good sound systems in these. Uh, they get loud and they're louder because you have the speakers right by your head. So. Uh, that does help. So I do like these chairs. Like I said, just not probably the greatest chair for a taller person, uh, a bigger person. So, uh, so I do have a review for that chair as well. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a, link, a description or a link in the description for these chairs. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. I got more videos to come guys. I got more review videos on various items out there. So please tune in check out DJ Martini Midwest reviews coming to you guys. Um, hopefully you guys like subscribe and share, let people know I'm doing reviews. I just like to do an honest review to help people, a basic review, uh, pretty simple, uh, just to give you guys some information on some of these products out here and tell you what I think. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you guys later. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay strong. Talk to you guys later.